First derivative analysis for trigonometric function. Find the critical numbers, the intervals of increase and decrease, and any maximum or minimum values for y equals to sine square x, where x is between 0 to pi. Now, to find all these things, what we need to do is just find the first derivative, right? and equate first derivative to 0. That will give us a critical number. And then analyze the intervals between those zeros. So that is the strategy. So let's start with the function itself, which is y equals to sine square x. Now what is the first derivative of this? First derivative is 2 times sine x times d dx of sine x. that is 2 times sine x cos x. Now if you remember 2 times sine x cos x can be written as sine 2x. So that is the best way of writing this answer. So the first derivative is sine 2x. Now how do you find critical number? To find critical number what we should do so critical number is at a point where y dash is equal to 0, right? That is the condition. So let's apply this condition and figure out all the critical numbers for this equation. So when is sine 2x equals to 0? So when we say y dash equals to 0, it means sine 2x equals to 0, correct? So that's what it implies. We are putting 0 here. So when is sine 2x equals to 0? That is what we need to find now. Now before we get into that, let's also look into the interval we are talking about. Now we want to show or find the values of sine 2x equal to 0 in the interval when x is between 0 and pi. That is important, right? But here we have 2x. That means 2x should be between what? 2x should be between, we need to multiply both by 2, 0 and 2 pi. Remember that, right? So this is kind of a mistake which you could do. So that's why I'm writing it bold and clear. Now, think like this, that this is sine theta, right? Let's say this is sine theta. And we want to do sine theta equals to 0 between 0 and 2 pi. So what are the points when sine theta is 0 between 0 and 2 pi? So, well, what we can do is just sketch sine curve. So when you have sine curve like this, there are three values where it could be 0. These are the three values, right? So first value is 0. The other one is pi, so everything is in radius, and this is 2 pi. So in the interval 0 to 2 pi, there are three values for which sine 2x will be 0. So this is how it should be, right? Now, let's write down these values and then analyze them. So first value is 0, the other one is pi, the third one is 2 pi. This is for 2x. So we have 2x is equal to, let me write solution here, could be 0, or pi, or 2 pi, correct? These are my three values. So x is equals to how much? x is 0 divided by 2, pi divided by 2, or 2 pi divided by 2, right? So we get three values for s, and these three values are 0, pi by 2, and pi. So these are our three critical numbers. We got the critical numbers. Now we need to figure out intervals of increasing and decreasing and any maximum or minimum values. So let's analyze the first derivative which is right here. So we have first derivative y dash as equal to sine 2x, right? Let me write down here y dash is equal to sine 2x and let's analyze y dash equals to sine 2x 
to figure out the intervals of increasing and decreasing. So here is a line. So this line represents the x-axis for example now and these are the points of interest. Let us say this is 0 for me. This is pi by 2 and then we have pi here. The three critical numbers. To find intervals of increasing and decreasing we need to take test values on either side of these. Now since the domain is from 0 to pi and for 2x it is 2 pi we cannot take any number on left of 0, right? That is important to understand. But still, 0 and pi are boundary, so we can always take values. There could be absolute maximum minimum at these. That is another thing to consider. So let's take points in between. So we can get pi over 4 here, right? And how about this? Now let's think about a coordinate plane and then take points, right? It's always good to put something right there to look for. So these three critical points could be, if you go like this, so this is when your arm is here, 0, then it's pi by 2 and pi. So what we can do is we can take our critical points like this. Is that okay? So pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4. So we get 3 pi by 4. This is 4 pi by 4, 5 pi by 4, right? So we can take these as our critical points. And what are we trying to analyze? Y dash. So we're trying to analyze Y dash, which is equals to 2 sine 2x. Now, for pi by 4, x equals to pi by 4, sine 2x will be sine pi by 2. Now sine pi by 2 is what? Sine pi by 2 is plus 1, right? So it is positive. Correct? For 3 pi by 4, sine 2x will be 3 pi by 2. So 3 pi by 2, 1 pi by 2, 2 pi by 2, 3 pi by 2. So that is going to be minus 1. So this is negative. And for 5 pi by 4, 2 times 5 pi by 4 will be 5 pi by 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is here. So it will be plus. Do you see that? Now, if the first derivative is positive, that means the function is increasing. If it is negative, it is decreasing. And thereafter, it is positive, it is increasing. Do you see that? So that is how the function is going to be in the given intervals. So, as far as the intervals of increasing and decreasing is concerned, the answer is from 0 to pi by 2, it is increasing, and from pi by 2 to pi, it is decreasing. Now, here, since we are working on this for sine square x, and now what we are talking about is y, right? y equals to sine square x. So, this is y equals to sine square x. So we can write down intervals for increasing and decreasing as, we'll say increase from, we could, well, we can use this also, 0 to pi by 2, right? It's better not to include it, but I wrote, so there's no harm. Okay, <laughs> and about decreasing, it is, from, let's not include it, pi by 2 to pi, right? That is how we should be writing. We know at these points it is 0, right? Okay, so these are basically turning points. Now, how about maximum and minimum? Now, for maximum and minimum, what you should do is you should substitute the boundary conditions, which is 0 and pi, and the critical numbers. You know, 0 and pi are also our critical numbers, so pi by 2, right? So what you should do is, I'm running out of space, and so I let that for you to do, that is find the value of function for 0, for pi by 2, and for pi, correct? So when I put 0 here, then what do I get? Let me write down here. 
So what is sine square x? That means we are trying to find the value of y for 3 when that is we are trying to find what is sine square 0, what is sine square second critical number is pi by 2 and what is sine square pi. Well we have these values for 0 sine is 0 so we get 0 here for pi by 2 it is positive 1 and for pi it is 0. As you can see we have two minimums the minimums at 0 and pi and one maximum so we can write here so that is minimum let me write minimum here minimum here that comes from change also and maximum at pi by 2 I think that gives you a fairly good idea right but in any case I'd like you to write down the answer very clearly that the critical points for us for the given function are 3 and these critical points are 0 pi by 2 and pi the function is increasing in the interval from 0 to pi by 2 decreasing from pi by 2 to pi in the given domain of 0 to pi. It will have maximum value at x equals to pi by 2 and the minimum values at x equals to 0 and pi. Right? So that is how it is to be answered. Thank you.